It has been an extraordinary week in U.S. politics, and now we've reached the final day at the Republican National Convention. Former President Trump, Trump will speak tonight, and you have Republicans nationally and here in Michigan energized for the last four months of the campaign. Caitlin Buss is an opinion columnist for the Detroit News. You see her on Flashpoint from time to time. She is in Milwaukee for the convention, joins me now live. Uh, Caitlin, it's good to see you. You know, we talked to you on Monday. It's Thursday now. Give us a sense of how things have changed here from your vantage point in terms of tone and uh, message for Republicans? Yeah, well, uh, I think they've really done everything they needed to do at this convention and, and maybe even then some. Uh, the tone has been, you know, one of unity since Monday and they, they have stuck to that. Um, I've seen a lot of unity among the delegation itself and even among, you know, the grassroots supporters, the delegates, the alternates that are here. Um, everyone has gotten on board with this agenda. The, uh, you know, J.D. Vance being uh, the running mate has given it even more momentum. Um, so I'm excited to see what Trump has to say tonight. I think a lot of people are looking forward to it. Um, you know, we were told he ripped his speech up and was doing, you know, more of a unity theme, hoping, hoping to talk to all Americans, not just his base. Um, and we will see if he if he sticks to that. Yeah, Caitlin, with all of the upheavals surrounding the Democratic Party right now, and again, increased calls for President Joe Biden to take himself off the ticket, is there more mention of Kamala Harris potentially being the opponent here? Is that what we're hearing maybe more in Republican messaging if they're if they're looking forward? I, I think they very much expect that could happen. And so they're prepared for that contingency. Um, I think they've done a pretty decent job of focusing on their own message moving forward and not focusing on what the Democrats are doing. You know, there's there's been some rhetoric about Biden and about his record, um, but it's been a lot less hostile than it's been in the past. So I think they're trying to pave the way for the potential of, of Vice President Harris to be the candidate and to be able to focus on their message regardless of what happens with Democrats. I think what's really incredible is that we're seeing uh, it will be a week after the attempted assassination of former President Trump that he makes his first public appearance on the campaign trail actually in Michigan. I, I talked to Pete Hoekstra just a couple of days ago about Michigan and other uh, other races on the ticket here. What's your take in moving now with momentum in the state with other races? Yeah, Pete Hoekstra's done a really good job of bringing together a really, you know, divided coalition here in Michigan. We had a lot of fractured parts, uh, even at the beginning of this year. And, you know, I've talked to some of the candidates. It, it's it's worth pointing out that not all the Republican candidates are here. And so there's there's a bit of uh, a change, I think, in who's attending this convention. And we'll, we'll see if that, you know, changes in the next four years. Uh, but there is momentum, you know, from the running mate choice for races in Michigan. Um, you know, they're focused on the state legislature still. They're focused on school boards. Um, I attended an event with Donald Trump Jr. where he talked, you know, very strategically about not just winning the White House because they don't see that as um, ultimately being the best path to get their agenda forward. So I think there's going to be a lot of momentum coming back into Michigan. I know Trump is coming on Saturday to Grand Rapids, and I, I expect he'll be there a lot. Um, J.D. Vance mentioned Michigan several times in his speech last night, uh, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, so what's the headline of your next column going to be on this one, Caitlin? You know, I, what, something that struck me is just uh, the way they've portrayed Trump. And, and, you know, I think he's directed some of that. But coming off the assassination attempt, there's been a real focus on his family here. Uh, and you saw that with his granddaughter speaking last night and, and just kind of putting a human element to him. I think building off the letter from his wife last week after the shooting, that's been kind of a unique focus. And, you know, that's kind of my takeaway is who is this man that the Republican Party has, you know, unified behind as their leader. Well, we absolutely are walking into extraordinary times in the next uh, couple of months here in Michigan in the country. Caitlin Buss, opinion columnist for the Detroit News. Really good to see you. Thanks for all your coverage, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. All right. Thank you, Christy.